Kaya si Residence din po. Ah, marami rin po. So, pala paanda po natin. So, let's start. Um, again, I'm Dr. Butch Juliana. I'm your medical and product consultant. I'm a diplomate of the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians. And people, I was once a professor in the College of Medicine and Nursing for 12 years before I became a full-time employee of our company in Global. I also happen to be the author of our book of the 24-7 and so the time being people, I'm part of the marketing team, and of course, you're part of the consultant. Now people, once the doctor is in front of you, definitely we're talking about health. Let me ask you, is health well, yes or no? Yes! For us to be healthy, okay, we need to do something with our body. Many things should be changed for you to be able to prevent diseases from happening inside your body. Now, before we further continue, I would like you to ask a favor of your body. Can I ask you a simple favor, guys? Yes! Can you please smile? <laughs> Why? Kasi si Kuya Boy nagtatawa na kanina. Ano naman ang ganda ng intro? O yun ba sa inyo hanggang ngayon? Sa inyo ako sa tayo ng mga? Ang dating talaga yung pang-bolivik pa rin. So guys, ganito po. Look at the picture. I'm sure you love this one. Okay? Yeah. Wow! That is the proper way to smile in your company. Are they beautiful guys? Yes! Are they cute? Yes! Mga anak niya. Now, why do you need to smile, okay? I guess some of you are still wondering, especially for the first timers, why is it named global? Okay, we speakers usually love our audience to smile and laugh. This is the main reason why. I would like you to read this one, people, and I was able to drive this on the internet, which clearly states the reason why we need to smile. Guys, can you please read it now? Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile. And sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Tama ba yan? Yes! Ipos natin nga po, no? If you would like to start your day right, the first thing you have to do is to smile. Okay? Why? Para maging masaya yung pakiramdam mo. Or vice versa. Okay? Kailangan maging masaya ka muna para gumitin ka. Ngayon, as a doctor people, it was clearly stated that every time we smile, okay, our brain, are being stimulated to produce feel-good hormones, which you term as endorphins and serotonins. If those hormones will circulate your body, people, they will try to improve the systems of our body, including the immune system. Guys, once we improve the function of the immune system, we can be able to prevent diseases from happening inside the body. So the question is, people, and then are you healthy, yes or no? Yes! So, tingnan ba po, effective ba? For the second time again, can you please smile? Ano po siya? Ano po tayo, ayan? Sorry po nila, no? Welcome to our company in Global. Pakipalakpan nga po muling sa'yo natin. We've been in the market for the past 8 years, people. We've been in the market for the past 8 years. And ang isa namin kayo ba? We have created more than 1,000 million years. At sa ngayon po, we now have a million distributors who already named Global. Why are we successful? It's mainly because of the three board of directors, the young owners of the company. At the center is also a doctor, also a family vet consultant, our chief executive officer, our visionary president, Dr. Ed Kamanto. Guys, on your left is our chief finance officer, the mentor of all mentors, Engineer Francis Miguel. And people at the right is our chief marketing officer, Mr. Excitement, a physical therapist with a profession, Sir John Esperi. So people, a doctor, a physical therapist, and an engineer. Tanong po, maganda ba ang kapalingin ko ba? Yes or no? Yes! Ang mga kapas for our honors people. To continue, we have three major partners. The first is Major Swain. It's a billion dollar company. It's one of the so-called pioneer in herbal medicines in the USA. And GMP certified with Halal and Kushir certified products. Next, DSM, a multi-billion euro company, people. One of the largest supplier of raw ingredients and nutrition in the world. And, of course, there's a the manufacturer of Resvita and Lycopene, the components of Vita. Third will be AMS Life Science Company Limited, where, of course, in Japan, a multi-billion company, the manufacturer of Perfect White. So people, sipin nyo po, maganda ba ang mga atayap ng in-global? Yes or no? Yes! Pakipalapakan na po ng mga atayap. Now, the big question still is, why the need for a book? 
Okay, you guys already mentioned earlier that we have a book, okay? The title is Complete 24-7 Natural Healers. Now, bakit ito po kailangan? Why do we need to have a book, people? Because of product knowledge. Okay. Guys, <clears throat> the road to knowledge begins with a turn of the page. If you have the book, please read the book. 350 pages, all of the components of our products are clearly written in the book. Special people, the medical studies done, okay, for each of the components of this product. Now, if I would ask you people, masarap po ba magkaroon ng mga members, the doctors, yes or no? Yes! Especially Dr. Goko, yes or no? Yes! Siyempre po, why? Because of, natin yung kinatawag natin na uh, authority in giving the products of the company. Okay? Now, if you would like to convince us doctors to be part of your group, first and foremost, you must have a what? A class on your products. And for you to be able to do that, people, you must be able to do it. Okay? Why? So that every time you ask the questions, you can easily answer that. The question will draw at you. Toto lang ko po. Ang dama tayo magpasaya, sir, no? Yes! Next. These are the things that you can be able to read in our book. The different body systems, all about free radicals, extensive discussion of free radicals, the antioxidants, the basic nutrition, product components, of course, health benefits. Sana yun po, di discuss natin in such a way that you will be able to appreciate what is inside that book. And the question now is, people, are you ready for the intensive product demo? Yes or no? Yes! So let's start, guys. Levels of structural organization. We humans are made up of atoms. Let's talk about atoms, guys. A very good example will be the oxygen. It's the smallest particle on the face of the earth. Once you combine these atoms, people, they will form molecules. And the best possible example will be water, H2O. Now, these molecules are said to be the ones that will make up a cell. The smallest functional unit of the body. Once you combine the cells, they will form the tissues. A good example will this wood muscle tissue. And these tissues then will form the organs. Okay? And finally, people, they will form the different systems of the body, like our cardiovascular system, and that will end up to what? Human organism. So again, people, humans are made up of 11 systems, composed of organs, comprised of tissues, Yung last word for people, gusto ko pa yung sigawin natin. What do you call this one? Cells. Again, the smallest functional unit of the body. A good picture of the cell. If that is the cell, guys, the one covering the cell is the cell membrane. We have different organelles, but the ones I would like to mention here will be the nucleus. Why? Because inside the nucleus is where you can see, or where you can find, the so-called deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. DNA. Okay, people, can you please repeat it, guys? DNA. DNA. Okay, let's talk about the DNA. What is the importance of the DNA, people? Let's put it up. It is the one that carries your genetic material. The one you're trying to share to your kids will be your DNA. Now, let me ask you, who amongst you people in this room already have kids? Raise your hands, please. The question is, can you tell me about it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so, people again. Kung mukha mo man o hindi anak mo, still, half kayo na asawa mo. You will be sharing 23 chromosomes to your kids. Okay? And of course, because of your DNA structure. Now, another function of the DNA is people is, it is the one that will carry the code for the so-called protein production. Okay? The big question is, do we need protein? Yes or no? Yes! What are the so-called protein parts in our body? Number one will be the muscle. What is the function of the muscle? For movements. Second will be the enzymes for metabolism. Third will be the hemoglobin that carries oxygen. And finally, people, one of the most important will still be this one. Can you please read it out? Antibodies or immunoglobulins. Now, people, what then is the function of the antibodies? They will help okay, our body get rid of microorganisms like bacteria, like viruses, and of course, right from giant. And they will also help try to kill cancer cells in our body. 
if I may ask you people, do we have cancer cells in our body, yes or no? Yes! And there will be no exemption. Okay? What's needed is for your body to produce enough level of antibodies for you to be able to kill the cancer cells inside your body. You have to be, I would like you to repeat this word, immunocompetent. Can you please read it out? I say it now. Immunocompetent. Now, let's continue people. But the problem is, there are so many factors that can affect a human health. What will you do first? Improper diet. And can you look at the one beside you? <laughs> and if you think his, his or her body looks like this, so that will be the first factor. Okay, and if you're fond of eating hamburger, donuts, french fries, and one or the other, sooner or later, your body will look like this. And I'm sure you're quite familiar with the food pyramid, people. If I were to ask you guys, if that is the food pyramid, which do you think is needed more by the body? The ones above, at the middle, or the ones below? Below. 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 Okay, why? Because it is the one that will try to give you proper nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and even fibers and water to your body. And then, of course, we're talking about what? Fruits and vegetables. I would like to give an emphasis on this because the ones recommended by World Health Organization is for you to eat five fruits and vegetables every day. And we're talking about what? Medium-sized fruits and vegetables. But in reality, the problem is, you're not fond of eating fruits and vegetables. What you're fond of eating every day is the what? The so-called glycemic food. Are you fond of drinking soft drinks? Yes. Do you like to eat french fries? Yes. Chocolates? Yes. Yeah, problem. So you know what you're doing. Those are the food or stuff that we should try to prevent from eating every day. But again, ang sinasabi nga po, yun yung masarap kainin. Okay? Next. Sedentary lifestyle. Look at this one. The word is slouch. Again, can you please say it loud? Slouch. Okay. If I will try to look at you people, yung iba sa inyo, ang posisyon, malapit-lapit na nyo. <laughs> When I started this person, I mean, yung iba sa inyo, diretso po eh. Pero, as minutes pass by, unti-unti na kayo. Why? And even the first structure is trying to change. Why? Because of the so-called slouch position. Guys, I will advise you for the next few hours to please sit straight. Why? Because sooner or later people, you will be damaging your back. Okay, and, sabi nga po namin dito, nakakapagay mga natang na mga osteoarthritis later on. Okay? Now, this is what we need to do. And that is exercise. Do we need exercise? Yes or no? Yes! But the question is, how often per week? The ones required by those so-called enthusiasts in exercise is that we must be able to do it twice a week, at least. And every time you exercise people, at least you must spend approximately 30 minutes per exercise. If I will ask you, who amongst you can do this so-called twice a week of exercise. Can I see at least once before? Patay. So, only then we're able to raise your hands. We need to say, you need to exercise. So before, another factor that will affect your health. Next. This is our main topic, the environment. The wine. We would like you to shout, to shout these words before. So, we would like you to shout these words before. People, what do you call this one? Free radicals. What are these so-called free radicals? Look at this. Okay. Every time we talk about the free radicals, let's begin with the first with the atom. Every time we talk about the atom, people, there are three major components. The neutrons and the protons, the ones in inside, are at the center, and the ones trying to rotate will be the electrons. Now, in all honesty, the oxygen atom is said to be comprised of eight electrons, okay? And they're said to be paired electrons. Now, the problem is, once we make use of oxygen, plus the nutrients, as a source of energy, through oxidation, one electron is being removed. 
and that will lead to information of what? Free radicals. Or the other word is related to the thing is one. Oxidants. Can you please say it, guys? Oxidants. Now, people, once it becomes an unpaired electron, unpaired, <coughs> what will happen here? It will become very unstable and it's said to be highly reactive. Guys, these are the possible things that can damage your body. Hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, maybe hydrogen peroxide. Every time we talk about smoking, okay? Remember, guys, that in one stick of cigarette, it contains one million free radicals. What if you're consuming one pack per day? So it only means one thing you are consuming, 20 million free radicals per day. What else? Skin is what? Insufficient supply of blood to your tissues, and even ordinary drugs, people, can cause harm to our body. Now, we have this sort of preventive antioxidants present in your body, but the problem is, what if the amount of free radicals that entered your body is so high, wherein you cannot be able to control them? And there will be a formation of free radicals. We have these so-called radical scavengers. Why? We're trying to prevent these free radicals from damaging the body. Like your light pizza and fats, your proteins, and of course, even your sugar carbohydrates. But again, people, if we can be able to control them, then it will propagate. And sooner or later, people, it will not cause damage to your body that can lead to what? Different kinds of diseases, cancer formation, and even early aging process. Guys, by simply looking at this diagram, the question is, na katakot ba ang free radicals? Yes or no? Yes! So, let's try to move on. Let's speak. Oh, sabi na po. Do, okay. How are free radicals formed? First will be radiation. A simple warning to everyone, please try to avoid sunlight. Too much exposure to sunlight at around 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What you're going to get will be what? UV radiation. And that can cause damage to your skin or even cancer cells. Or should I say, cancer of the skin. Next, X-ray. Television. Cut the tube from television also. And you can have the lights. Guys, next, microwave. For a good example, build your cell phone. If you are fond of using your cell phone, once you use your cell phone, it took you around 30 minutes to one hour. Sabi nga ba natin, tele babad. Okay? Every time you use your cell phone, people, as you remove your cell phone, what is the usual color of your, of your ear, people? It turns red. Sabi nga po natin, kung ito na mumula na taga, if you will use it for approximately 30 minutes to one hour per day, it can cause some forms of insomnia. That's just simply using the cell phone. But what if your place is near the cell site? Baka sabihin mo ito, ang nakasas signal mo. Pero yung signal nito sa atin po, pala ito, malakas din po. What else guys? Okay, let's continue. Okay, girls! Look at this. In that sort of ways, one of the major problems in Metro Manila is of course the presence of this. Plus, this one, toxic exhaust, vehicles. They're trying to meet what? Carbon monoxide. Okay? And of course, let's make it worse. Power plants. The sulfur dioxide people, carbon monoxide, and so on and so forth. And these are the things that can damage, of course, your lungs. Now, people, I would like to remind you that approximately we have 50 billion free radicals in our environment, mainly because of these reasons, the factors. And, also, guys, every time you use, or you, you clean your comfort room by using Clorox, remember that Clorox is also said to be what? A corrosive substance that can cause inflammation inside your airways, that can damage your body people, so please be careful using this one. So these are the things that can add up, okay? That once you use them, guys, once the tumors in your body can cause diseases in your body. What else? Those are physical factors. Let's talk about food. The ones that we can prevent. Okay? Especially every time I talk about preservatives. Longganisa. Are you eating longganisa? Yes or no? Yes! Yeah, no? 
That's nothing at all. We're using preservatives. Now, guys. Mr. Homer, oh, I cannot forget his name, was able to, to say that when you eat nominisa or hato, as if parang bumapay ng embalsamadong bagoy. Okay? But again, this is a dare for all of you. As you go home, try to get a piece of longanisa and a piece of meat and place them on a plate. Let them stay for one day, people, without trying to put them down in the refrigerator. The question is, and guess the law on Masira. Yung Manganisa or yung Baboy? Why? Because no preservatives. In all honesty, the preservatives used are the same as that of the three radicals. No, you just mentioned earlier that free radicals are bad. Yes, but there are also certain good effects of free radicals in your body. Why? Because once microorganisms go into your body people, the free radicals will also try to kill the microorganisms. But if the amount of free radicals are so high, it can also damage the normal cells in the body. Can we still eat this? Yes. But please, in moderation. Okay? What else? Look at this one. Food preparation. Frying. This is... Oops, I'm sorry. That is kabote ki. Okay? Masarap pa kumain ng banana ki. Okay? But again, a warning is, if you are going to make use of this so-called oil, after using it once, you have to throw it right away. Because if you go to use it again, especially for more than five times, people, they are forming aniline, which is said to be a carcinogenic substance that can cause cancer to your body. Now, what though if you will just try to grill the pork or the beef? <clears throat> Look at this. Hot dog. Barbecue. And one of the all-time favorites. Isa. <laughs> People, the warning is, put po sanang sunugin. Once you see this one called black color, people, kulit ito, 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 para kulit na po. Tama, no? Guys, that is already Benzopyrene. And again, benzopyrene is said to be what? A carcinogenic substance. You can grill them, people, but please don't overcook the meat. Okay? Are you clear so far, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's continue. How about stress factor? Guys, I guess if that is the kind of job that you're doing every day, you will really suffer from different kinds of diseases. Isipin mo naman po yung laki nito. Okay, no? Next, how about emotional stress? Same thing, okay? Why you can try to weaken your immune system? So these are the factors, guys, again, that can add up and lead into what? Different kinds of diseases. Now, people, <clears throat> what is the effect of free radical then? Look at this. Again, can you please read it down? Yes. 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 It's said to be a double helical structure, the one carrying your genetic material, and electron rich. Because being said that they are said to be the natural magnet for free radicals and the object or the favorite object of attack of free radicals. So what now will happen here? Look at this. If this is your DNA, the one carrying your genetic trait, your code, and that is the so-called free radicals, what will happen then? It will enter your DNA and they will try to disrupt the function of your DNA. Guys, I just like to clarify that some or mo most of the cells of our body usually dies and regenerates. Okay? A good example will be your skin. It's said to be a novel type of cell. Why? Because after 25 to 45 days, they will change. Okay? But the problem is, once the free radicals enter your DNA, we have this so-called word we use. Okay? Every time a cell dies, and that word is termed as apoptosis. People, can you please say it now? Apoptosis, program cell death. If the free radicals will damage that DNA, then this old apoptosis will no longer happen. And there will be formation of what? Tumor later on. But put that in your blood, and you can function of your blood. You can't get a tumor. 
as the tumor grows larger, people, it will cause what? Space occupying nation or sometimes even cancer. Next. So what will happen here? If that is the cell, those are the different kinds of free radicals. They will try to go inside, they try to damage the cell membrane. And once they're inside the cell people, like again, what will happen here? They will kill the cell. Let's continue. Though those are the external free radicals that we can get from the environment, yes. Again, we can eat, we can drink, and we can breathe the free radicals. But the problem is, remember, we can also produce our own free radicals. Guys, can you please repeat this word? Mitochondria. Say it loud. Mitochondria. The powerhouse of the cell. What is the function of the powerhouse of the cell? People, they will produce energy. If I'm going to ask you, do we need energy, yes or no? Yes. But again, as we produce energy, we're also producing, again, what's this one? Free radicals. What will they do? First, they can kill or damage the mitochondria. And they can also damage the next cell. A better picture for this will be this one, people. Again, that is the mitochondria. A combination of oxygen plus glucose or carbohydrates will form energy. And we need energy for us to survive. But at the same time, people, we are also producing unpaired radicals or free radicals. Guys, if we have this so-called enough enzymes in your body, these free radicals will just be converted to what? Water or oxygen. But if the amount of free radicals is so much, then what will happen here? Then they will damage the next cell. They can destroy the mitochondria, they can destroy the nucleus, or even damage the function of your DNA inside that cell. And what will happen to you later on? Different kinds of diseases. Look at this. Again, I've like already mentioned how many free radicals? First thing of cigarette? One, one million. million. Who amongst you is in this room or said to be smokers can say it's a man? Then you back. So people what will happen here. The silent smoking school, because every time you smoke people, you really look good. But the problem is, is it right? If you're going to compare people, this is the actual lungs of those people who don't smoke. And if you happen to be a smoker people, just try to take a bit. Your lungs might look like this. Next. Please, can you please quit, guys? Quit smoking. Because second that or passive smoking can kill someone you love. Now, it's just like to prove it, people. If you will not quit smoking, look at the color of the lungs. It's beautiful, people. Bright red in color. If the Englishman will mention this one, it is said to be bloody red. Okay? But if you happen to be a smoker and you develop lung cancer, then it will look like this. For those who are fond of drinking alcohol, mm, that's liver cancer. For those who are fond of eating fried pork, fried beef, cancer of the stomach. For those who are fond of eating raw beef or raw meat, cancer of the intestines. Guys, you can even develop pancreatic cancer if you happen to be an alcoholic. Okay? What else? For those who are fond of eating, again, fried, okay? Those rich in uric acid, those who are not fond of drinking water, people that require this, you have to take at least 8 to 10 glasses of water per day, you might develop what? Cancer of the kidney. Ladies and gentlemen, if I will ask, who amongst you can drink religiously at least 8 glasses of water every day? Can I say a raise how about 10 glasses of water every day? <laughs> Just trying to warn the people that what can happen if you like drink water every day? The amount of water, the exact amount of water every day, people. The required amount of water every day. UTI, kidney stones, and that cancer. I would just like to warn the people that kidney stones and UTI can lead to what? end-stage renal disease. 
And you will really regret for the rest of your lives if you will undergo the axis once a week. And that will be so painful in your part. So please, people, while your kidney is still functioning well, please drink eight, at least eight to ten glasses of water. Next, about cancer. Guys, we're talking about cancer of the lymph nodes. I have a senior doctor friend who suffered from Hodgkin's lymphoma three years ago. And he's dead. We just really can't tell who amongst us will suffer from this. And the main reason why we're trying to take food supplements is again to strengthen the function of the immune system. So the big question is before, do we need to strengthen the function of our immune system? Yes or no? Yes! yes. Okay, guys. Yeah. One of the most common cancer, okay, one of the most famous kind of cancer. Here in the Philippines, of course, it is said to be one of the so-called top cancer causing death in their land. Okay? And sad to say, female still predominates the male when it comes to incidence of cancer, breast cancer. But a little warning, a little warning people. Once the male were able to feel a mass in your breast, most of the time, it will be cancer of the breast. Which means, both male and female, no matter the both male and female can suffer from cancer of the breast. Nagiba, kita ko na. Tumakapakapana, ano ko na sa ako? What about other diseases of the body? Okay, let's talk about the cardiovascular system. Can you please again read it slow, guys? Thrombus or blood clots. What are these? There's a type of formation of what? Blood cells? Fibrin strands, cholesterol, calcium deposits, and then you try to block your blood vessels, blood flow. Okay? The strength into which people, if that will happen here, it will lead to what? Myocardial infarction or heart attack. But if that will happen here, blood vessels in your brain will not lead to what? Stroke or cerebrovascular accident or CVA. Now again, what are the possible sources? Cholesterol. So people, the simple question is, are we eating cholesterol every day? Yes or no? Yes. Masarap ba kainin? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Masarap ba kumain ng french fries? Yes or no? Yes. Barbecue? Yes. Miliempo? Yes. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> that can possibly happen to us later on, people. Next, what if this cholesterol will try to harden the blood vessel wall. Blood vessel wall. Again, people, can you please read it out? Atherosclerosis. The hardening and thickening of the blood vessel, people. Guys, this is the normal blood vessel, the lumen of the blood vessel. But once it listen to these people, and there will be presence of blood clots there, then again, it's either heart attack or stroke. Initially, it will lead to hypertension, but later on, heart attack and stroke. Next. Now, what's the name of the picture? Okay, I'll try to do something here before. Okay, and now I'd like all of you to participate. Can you please sit straight? And can you please breathe deeply? One, two, three, inhale. Then cough. <laughs> inhale. Okay, then you're ready for it. Or you can hang up the free radicals. Okay? Nasinkot rin na po yung mga free radicals. Maliwali ko tayo. Why again? Because they're everywhere, people. If your friend, the one beside you, okay, coughs every now and then, then you're trying to inhale what? The free radicals. Can you try, can you please try to smell the one beside you? Please. Okay? Especially the axillary part. Okay? You know, they're said to be quite offensive people. Because they're also said to be free radicals. Okay, oh, so, equal, there's no skating the free radicals, guys. Because remember, at the end, they're in your environment and we can produce our own free radicals. So, people, again, what will happen here? These are the possible sources that we've already mentioned earlier. And these are the possible diseases that can happen to you. Guys, just try to pick one. They're for free. Okay? Because of the free radicals. 
Now, people, this is what we need. I would like you to shout it out, guys. What do you want to want? There are many derived from plants. They are plant-based nutrients. They even serve as your gift. Yes, and of course, your free radical scavengers. Why? What will they do? They don't try to prevent and repair damage done by the free radicals. So the big question is, do we need high levels of antioxidants? Yes or no? Yes! Definitely, people. Now, some of the so-called antioxidants are the vitamins. So they will try to prevent the free radicals from entering your cells. Second, guys, they will act like what? Um, okay? First, they will prevent the free radicals. Or once they are already inside the free radicals, they will just try to what? control it and neutralize it. What else? Look at this picture. Look at the picture, guys. That cell was divided into equal halves. And of course, both of which were exposed to free radicals. But the other half was said to be rich in antioxidants. And guys, just try to look at that picture, that cell. That part of the cell without antioxidants led into what? Cell hair. When that part of the cell rich with antioxidants was still what? Said to be functioning well. So again, do we need antioxidants? Yes or no? Yes! yes. Okay, people, let's continue this. Again, let's try to show you the oxygen atom. If they will combine with glucose or carbohydrates to form energy, one electron will be removed and it will become a free radical. And what will they do? If that is already a free radical, the question is, Doc, how long can it survive? It's just a matter of few seconds before they die. They can only survive in just a matter of few seconds. But if I am the free radical and I'm beside a normal atom, what will I do? I'm going to snatch one of the electrons here. That can also cause what? Or oh, that can also lead to what? Free radical formation. And that will die. And what will I going to do before? I'm also going to snatch one of the electrons here. It will form free radicals. It will be a domino effect, people. And again, people, once you combine the atoms, they will form what? Molecules. And remember, people, in the cell membrane are made up of molecules. So that will cause what? Cell membrane damage. People, what then is the significance of giving enough antioxidants? These antioxidants will try to supply electrons to the free radicals. And the question is not. If they will supply electrons, will they also become free radicals? No. Why? Because antioxidants have to be what? They can supply endless electrons. Meron po sila lifetime supply ng electrons. So again, the question is, do we need antioxidants? Yes or no? Yes! That's the people. Let's continue, guys. These are according to clinical studies done on the past. We are not trying to claim that we can treat diseases by giving food supplements. Are we clear with that one so far, people? But according to studies done by different scientists, okay, if you can supply enough level of antioxidants, then we can be able to recover from these old medical conditions or diseases. And just try to look at these medical conditions, guys. I'm sure you will be interested in taking high levels of antioxidants. Cancer, early aging process, cardiovascular diseases, and even inflammatory reaction, even what? Diabetes mellitus. So the big question is, people, kailangan ba talaga ng antioxidants, yes or no? Yes! Kailangan ba ng antioxidants, yes or no? Yes! What else, guys? It can even what? Support the different organs, different systems, and different functions of your body. Especially, guys, if you have some problems in your reproductive function. For the past few years, people, we have so many testimonies, health testimonies, and I also know one person who were not able, who were not able to produce a child for more than two years because his sperm count was so low. Okay? But when they took the product complete, people, doctor, his sperm count was only around 10 million. And we all know that what's needed is around 150 million sperm per ejaculation. But when they took the product complete, that was seven years ago, as of the time being people, they already have three kids. And the sperm count went back to normal. Do we have one more So again, can you please read it out? How much? Five kinds of fruits and vegetables, medium size every day. 
go amongst you and eat five kinds of fruits and vegetables, medium size every day. Can you please raise your hand? <laughs> okay. Right, so it only needs of one thing that we need a food supplement that will give us more than the requirements given by World Health Organization. So the big question is, are you ready to know the products of any global yes or no? Yes. Right, so we'd like you to say it loud. But before that, people, by the way, we just like to, 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 to mention this one to you. We just like to clarify this issue to all of us. RBA versus RDI before we mention a clear product. Can you please do this one? Recommended dietary allowance. What's the one used as a standard before? Okay? When you talk about daily amounts of vitamins in the baby health person, that was before. That was years ago. Then it was changed into what? Daily value. Can, can you please again read this out? Daily, daily value. value. And it was divided into two. What are these? Daily reference values. Can you please read it loud? Daily reference values and the reference daily intakes. Again, can you please read it loud this time? Reference daily intakes. So guys, what are these two references? Okay. First, daily reference value and reference daily intake. When you talk about the DRB, okay, they will be your reference, the dietary reference for fats, saturated fats cholesterol, carbohydrates, and proteins, the nutrients. While, when you talk about the RBI, or the reference daily intake, they will be dealing with the vitamins and minerals. But, I would like to know this one, people, I would like to mention this one to you, that before, every time I talk about your recommended dietary allowance, it is only giving us a very minimum requirements of the vitamins and minerals that can try to prevent the word there is prevent, just prevent diseases from happening in your body. But people, look at this. Not enough, okay? Not enough, okay? If you would like to have a maximum health. The reason why we came up with this word, and please, put it out this time. What's the word, people? Optimum daily intake. Optimum daily intake. Why the need for ODI? Because that is the amount of nutrients needed for vibrant good health. If I will ask you people, would you like to have a vibrant good health, yes or no? Yes. Because if you have a vibrant good health, people, we can be able to prevent diseases from happening in your body. The only means of one thing, that you need to take more than what is required to have a vibrant good health. Guys, the reason why we came this word synergism. Again, people, can you please say it now? Synergism. The second is simple people. It's a phenomenon whereby two or more vitamins combine to create a stronger vitamin function than the sum of their individual effects would suggest. If I will ask you people, how many components do we have in C ten per seven? components. So guys, if we will take more than two components. In our product, people, we have 140 components. Once you combine the components, people, they will try to improve the function of each of the components of our product, CT number 7. So the question is, people, do we have a wonderful product in CT number 7? Yes! Let's continue, people. Look at this. Vitamins usually work synergistically. And guys, remember this, and please read this one. Can you please read this one, people? Taking a single vitamin or mineral may be ineffective or even dangerous. As what Dr. Dean Morrison explained during the first day of our three-day event in our eight-year anniversary, that if you just take calcium, then that calcium later on can lead to the formation of stones inside your body. But if you go to take calcium together with the other vitamins and minerals, then they will become beneficial to our body. So the big question is, do we need to take more than one component of a product every day, yes or no? Yes! yes. Guys, people, with this, let's try to mention our, our, our product, people. What is the name of our care product? C24-7 Natural Shuticals. Look at the cellular functions of the product. Okay? And again, with that, people, the question is, maganda ba ang talaw ng produkto ng C24-7, yes or no? Yes! yes. Components. 
Look at the components. With anti-aging components, with longevity pillows, now, let's go to details. Please, look at this one. Unique selling proposition for us members of the company. First and foremost, we have 22,000 plant-based nutrients. Again, I'm daring you. Later on, as you go home, try to Google on different herbal products. And I can assure you that, guys, you will find it so hard to find a product that contains more than this. Because this, this one really contains high levels of nutrients. So, magadawa to panel so far, guys? Yes! Next. The vitamins we have been taking since infancy, from A, B, C, D, E, K, B1 to B2, A to C, is right there in our products in 10 7. Now, look at this. Look at the lineups of vitamins, okay? Major minerals, and of course, even trace minerals. Let's mention it one at a time. <clears throat> First, I would like to remind you people that it's quite vital to our lives if we have enough vitamins in our body. And the first will still be vitamin A or retinol or carotenoids. All of which people, I would like to simplify this one, all of these vitamins have this so-called antioxidant effect. What I'm going to emphasize or give emphasis to people will be their so-called unique actions in their body. And look at the ones colored red. They will be good for your skin. And of course, good for your vision. Okay? The reason why we always advocate that you should eat one carrots, but not too much. Just enough per day. Okay? Next. Vitamin D complex. For what? Brain and nerve functions. And they will try to prevent people from you suffering from different kinds of what? Degenerative conditions of the nerves, like your Alzheimer's disease. What's the chance this is people? This is the sort of dementia or memory loss. And then the big question is, who amongst us will suffer from this? We cannot tell who. Okay? If it will happen, it will happen. But again, this is also uh, all saying people that prevention is better than cure. So if I were you guys, I will take a part of the things complete vitamin D. Next, vitamin C ascorbic acid. What is the function? Strengthens the body's immune system. In all honesty, guys, if you're going to harness the vitamins, vitamin C will still be one of the best. But it will be best taken with the other stock of vitamins available in the market. But don't worry, people, because all of these vitamins are already present in our product C24-7. Okay? Next one. What else? Vitamin D. Normal bone growth and teeth formation. Ladies and gentlemen, the problem is once the ladies reach the age of 45. So I would like to ask you, and I would like you to be honest, who amongst you ladies are already 45 years old and about, can you please raise your hands? Madami na. So, the problem is menopause. Okay? And once you reach the age of menopausal stage, then the big problem is, of course, osteoporosis. Your bones are becoming brittle. The more reason that you need to take products that will give you vitamin D, it's mainly because it will try to guide the calcium from the intestines to go inside the blood vessels, then towards the bone to strengthen the function of the bone. So do we need vitamin D, yes or no? Yes! What else, guys? Vitamin D, oops! Antioxidants and so on and so forth. But for the meals inside this room, for the meals, can you please read this? Treats male infertility. So if you try to improve the function of your, you know, right? If you try to improve the function of your junior. If you would like to produce kids, babies, guys, then you must, the word is must, have enough level of vitamin E in your body. Next, vitamin K or pyloquinone. Essential in blood clotting. Every time a baby is born, Inside the nursery, the nurse are already giving what? Injections of vitamin K. Why? In order to prevent bleeding episodes for the newborn kids. Okay? So guys, are the vitamins good? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Next, people. Let's talk about major minerals. And people, calcium is said to be the what? The most abundant mineral in the body. And 99% of which will be in your bones and teeth. The simple question is not 99 percent about the one percent. For the information people, do you know that we need calcium for our muscles? 
Why? Because we need the calcium to start muscle contraction. So even again, you must be able to know that you need to have normal amount or levels of calcium if you want your body to function normally, especially your muscles. Okay? It's not just about the bones that eat, it's more of the muscles in body. Next. What else? Look at this. Chloride. Normal acid-based balance of body fluids and normal blood volume and pressure. Even if I'm going to combine chloride with sodium, it will form what? Salt. Okay, so some steep people, we need to eat a little portion of salt, but not too much because if you're going to increase sodium chloride, then most probably people, it can be little what? Hypertension. Okay? Next, magnesium. I would like you to read this one, people. What do you call this one? Anti-stress mineral. So look, what will be the function? If you will take a product that contains magnesium, there will be a production of this so-called feel-good neurotransmitter. And what's the word? Serotonin. Can you say it out again, people? Serotonin. Guys, it will relieve stress and anxiety. Let me ask you simply, people. Are we suffering from stress, yes or no? Yes! Do we have a stressful life, yes or no? Yes! Just look at the one beside you. If it will cause stress, then try to what? Eliminate those people. No, no. Please, guys. We need this one of the issue, okay, Bob? What else? Postfoods. Normal blood and entry structure. Potassium. Okay. It's also good for your what? Cardiovascular protection. Warning. If and ever. You will try to increase the level of potassium. That can lead to what? Tachycardia. Where that will try to increase heart rate. And that will be the perimeter of the part. What else? Soju. The combination for potassium. Proper nerves and muscle functions. And normal blood pH level. Then of course, the song about sulfur. Guys again, can you please read this now? Healing mineral wine. Because sulfur is needed, essential for glutathione, Coenzyme A and vitamin B1 synthesis of production. Again, guys, every time you talk about glutathione, do we need glutathione, yes or no? Yes. This especially, every time you talk about glutathione, what's the first thing that you let her remind? Whitening. 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 No? So, whitening, okay? It will make you look better and it will make you look younger. Okay? So, do we need glutathione, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, what else? Be what? Trace minerals from you. Insulin activity in the body will be stimulated. And that can control your blood sugar, people. Not just the sugar, but also the cholesterol, and of course, the fats of the rates. Copper for enzyme production. The one that can speed up your metabolism. What else? Fluoride. Okay. That can prevent what? To decay. So again, if you're going just to analyze people, everything you need, Everything your body needs are right there in your products in the level 7. Okay, what else? Iodine, energy production, and fat metabolism. If I want to ask you people, if you have low levels of iodine, most probably, guys, you will suffer from what kind of disease? Goiter. That's why the main problem for those living in mountainous areas, guys, like Baguio, is of course goiter. Why? Because of the lack of what? Fish. That contains high levels of iron. Okay, what else? Guys, can you please see this one? Iron, the most important mineral. Why? Because for the transport of oxygen, who amongst you guys have suffered or are still suffering from anemia? Can you please raise your hands? One, two, three, four, five. Tita, what are the usual symptoms every time you suffer from anemia? May you know, dizziness, easy fatigability, you get easily tired. Why? Because every time you move people, remember, every time you move your muscles, you are producing or you are trying to waste energy. Yes or no? Yes. yes. But since you don't have enough level of hemoglobin, you will have low level of oxygen, and the production of energy will also be low. And that is the importance of having a normal amount of iron in your body. Next, manganese. Prevents reproductive dysfunctions or even what? Again, infertility. Let's continue with one. Molybdenum. They will try to eliminate smoke toxins. 
Selenium. Uy! May ba talaga ako sa Selenium, guys? Are you familiar with Selson Blue? Naku, mga hindi niya talaga ang Selson Blue, no? Shampoo. For the hair. Why again, people, ang tindang draft? Because Selenium is doing what? Ang kaisinggan. Okay? And also, they will work synergistically. They will work better with vitamin D as what? Antioxidants. And of course, zinc is quite important. Why? Because they will try to activate the lymphocytes that will try to fight infection. So guys, with all of this so far, do we have a magnificent product in CV number 7, yes or no? Yes! Can you please give a hand for product? So far, yes. 12 Wool Fruit Juice Plants. People look at this. Look at the colors. Look at these fruits. It's really good. They're really good, guys. But every time you ask me, though, of course, one of the best will still be buying that one. But once you reach the age of 45 or 35, okay, I would like you to eat what? The berries. Because they're proven to have what their function is to what? They will try to bring down the level of cholesterol. They will try to normalize their cholesterol. Okay? Which means they will try to improve the flow of blood. Now, look at this. This is different kinds of studies that will try to show to you different fruits, especially cherries or berries, with high levels of antioxidants. Let's try to know this one. Cherry, okay, blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, plums, orange, grapes. The question is, are they present in our products in Yes or no? Yes. yes! Same thing here. Those are also the fruits found in our products in Yes and also the same thing with this one. Even the plants are right there. Next, okay? We've tried to make it simple. We've tried to summarize the functions in table form. I will no longer mention everything, people. I'd just like to note here that if you're going to look at a, a, a product that has high levels of antioxidants, that will be good for your cardiovascular system, that will also be having an anti-cancer activity, this is why they're in the product seat at seven. Same thing with this one. So the question is, people, maganda ba ang seat at seven so far? Yes or no? Yes! Okay, pala, pala nga po kayo. Next! Helpful vegetable juice plants, people. Again, these are the lineup. We have drug here. But let's try to make it simple again. Antioxidant, cardiovascular, anti-cancer, everything is right there. Next! Again, if I will ask you, how much was the requirements Fruits and vegetables given by World Health Organization per day. Wow. Five, five. In our product, people, we have how much? Wow. Have you gone beyond the requirements? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Let's continue, people. We have 18 amino acids. Guys, when you talk about amino acids, the very simple definition is they are the building blocks of proteins. Can you please say it now? Building, building blocks of proteins for growth, repair, and maintenance of body tissues. They will also serve as your enzymes, unit and of course, hormones. We have two types of amino acids, the essential and non-essential. If I'm going to ask you, do we need essential amino acids, yes or no? Yes. Do we need non-essential amino acids, yes or no? Yes. The answer is said to be yes or no. Okay? Do we need non-essential, yes or no? <laughs> of course, we still need that essential amino acids. But the thing here is, this one cannot be produced by the body. That's why we need to eat them. But these non essential amino acids can be produced by the body. Okay, so we all need these so called amino acids. Because if not, then you, you, you might suffer from different kinds of diseases. Let's continue, guys. Okay? Amino acids. Okay. Super green foods and spirulina blend. Okay? By the way, I forgot to mention the amino acids right here. Okay? Okay. Super green foods. Spirulina. Barley grass. Okay? Wheat grass. Lemon grass or unglad to be saya. Chlorella will be for gold. And cilantro will be for cough. But still, the most famous will be what? Spirulina. Okay. We all know, people, that the one that gives the green coloring pigment to the butter is called chlorophyll. But again, for us to have a better picture 
of the so-called different green plants. Again, just look at this. Antioxidants, cardiovascular, anti-cancer, and even for what? Prevention of gallstone formation. So ladies, if you have a high history of gallstone formation in your family, then please, try to take our products in 20 percent What else? Let's continue. The same thing applies to this one. Antioxidants, lower, lowers blood sugar, cardiovascular, and of course, anti-cancer activities. Well, let's continue. Mushrooms. Guys, just look at the, look at the mushrooms. Okay? We have this so-called shiitake, 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 yam shiitake. Everything's all about ataki. You know, that's a title. Why? I don't understand. I always try to make it as a joke. But in all honesty, people, it really has ataki components. Why? Just look at this. Antioxidants. Anti-cancer. Anti-inflammatory. Anti-bacterial. Anti-viral. And anti fungal So guys, do we have a wonderful product in CD for Yes! Next, okay. The just enzymes. Guys, this will be needed for the breakdown of macromolecules. When you talk about macromolecules, they are simply the large molecules. The carbohydrates, proteins, fats that we eat into smaller building blocks or micromolecules. Guys, if we will eat carbohydrates or starch, in our mouth, people, we need what? Salivary amylase. The question is, do we have salivary amylase? Yes or no? Yes. Now, if you will eat meat products like pork and beef, then you need protease. The question is, people, do we have protease down there? Yes or no? Yes. yes. And guess if you will eat fatty foods, tamaan ng baboy, Okay, tama ng bata, si tita na papainig na, mag-starol yata yun, then you will need what? Lipase. So people, kompleto ba ang laman ng produkt ng CNN for 7? Yes! Pagpalapag na po. This one, in our presentation, lagi lang ginabagat by passing. But just try to look at the herbs and special nutrients in our product. First will be bioflavonoids. Antioxidant, anti-cancer, cardiovascular protection, and so on and so forth. Next, okay, again, that will be in table form. Siberia nilotero roots. One of the most significant functions which is to what? Boost your body's immune defense. Increases body stamina and endurance, and relieves stress and, of course, reduces fatigue. Next, inositol. What's that name? Vitamin B8. What is the function? Triggers the calcium release in cells. And they will also participate in various transmission of what? Messages in the central nervous system. So if you would like to improve the function of your nervous system people, then you need what? Inositol. Guys, let's continue. Choline, precursor of acetylcholine. And what is that? A neurotransmitter again for your brain. Essential in cognitive reasoning, memory, ability, and of course, muscle control. What else? Let's continue. Para amino benzoic acid, pro-vitamin or co-factor, but vitamin B complexes. And if you're going to analyze people, they will work hand in hand with inositol, vitamin B5, and B9. Guys, especially for those whose age is 45 and above, in preventing the gray of hair due to stress, and vitamin D deficiency. So, you know, talk about it, you know, the stress in the pagpuli ng buhok. Yes. So, again, if you would like to slow it down, or most probably prevent it from happening, so please, people, we need papa or pala amino benzoic acid. Okay? Next. Protein. Compound yellowish to greenish color and by the blood flavonoid glycoside. Slows aging process. The reason why we take the product C24 is, of course, to slow down our aging process. In all honesty, they've already proven that one slows aging process. Why? Because every time, when we had a reunion, our 25th um, year after high school, people, so this silver bag? Yes. Sorry, yes. silver. When I was able to see, my, to, when, when I saw my classmates during our reunion, 
You know what happened, people? I call them Ate and Uya. Why? Because number one, dalam ng chat. Number two, yung buhok siya niya. Actually, yung lipo, no? Sa lipo. Or even up down, no? So, uh, why? Because we have a very wonderful product in the presence of C24-7. The coloring pigment to all fruits and vegetables, and that's quite essential, people. Why? It contains high levels of antioxidants. What else? Chlorophyll. We all know this one. Green pigments to all plants and consumers do what? Can you please read this out? World's greatest miracle superfood. The reason why you need to take this deep one. Why? Reach a source of DNA and of course RNA for cellular repair. If you would like to look younger, if you would like to prevent diseases, people, if you would like to prevent the so-called wrinkles, people, you read this. Okay? What else? DNA, RNA, from cholera spilled in the people, the next cellular growth repair and renewal, and of course, can you please read this one, people? Anti-aging factor. Okay? Who amongst you have been taking the product for more than six months? See, 20 percent then. One thing. So, most of you are new members in the company. Yes. The reason why you look like that. <laughs> I can say before, if you will take this something up then you will look younger as years pass by. Okay? Do you want to look younger? Yes! Do you like to look more vibrant, guys? Yes! So please take the product. Okay, what else, people? Prolongs lifespan, huh? Borrow up. Okay? It enhances what? Memory, resuming abilities, guys. And of course, mental alertness. What else? What else? Lutein from my gold. Fat solid body under orange carotenoid pigment, powerful antioxidants, and again guys, and ladies, treats male and female infertility. So if you are still having some problems producing a child, try our products in that first ever company. What else? Okay. Essential fatty acids. Okay. Omega-3. Can you please see this one? Long chain polyesterated fat or full fat. Omega-3 is not linolenic acid. So what will be the benefits that you can get from this? Eyes, hair, skin, brain, heart, nerves, all of the solid organs, vital organs, will be having a what? A better function if we will take omega-3 fatty acid. They're also said to be what? Good for your cardiovascular system. And, guys, they can also boost your immune system. They can improve the flow of blood. They can even regulate your hormones. And people, they have an anti-cancer properties. Guys, flux seed. Can you please see this one? Lignans. Can you please say it again, guys? Lignans. The one that will block the creation of new tumors. So if you would like to prevent tumors from developing in your body, then please, Take a product that contains lignans. It's said to be what? Rich. Or said to be present in flaxseed. Next. Sunflower seeds. Antioxidants. Okay, and it contains numerous types of vitamin B complex. What else? All of those things I've already mentioned, I'd just like to emphasize on the new oh, on the invites. They are the ones seen in our former flagship product called as complete. Pyto Energizer. People, do we have the product complete here? Yes. Here. Okay. So again, so called Pyto Nutrients, Vitamins and Minerals, and Puyol. Six years ago, September 2008, Dr. This is the first time that I attended a seminar. And the ones explained to me by the speaker during the time who happens to be a nurse. His name is Alvin Madrigal. Was the product complete? In all honesty, during the time, I really hit the idea of promoting herbal products. For example, one, I'm a doctor, a specialist, and number two, I'm also a professor. And during our medical proper years, we were taught by our professors, who also happens to be medical doctors, that we should never promote herbal products that are not scientifically based. Okay? So, but still, it tried to listen. And I was able to appreciate the product.
for the first time in my medical profession, okay, as a specialist, it's the first time that I was able to what? Love a herbal product. And I joined the company. It's a matter of a few years before I became a full-time employee of the company. Why? Because I love the product completely first, complete by digester. But the good news is, two years after that, a new product was born. And then I need see it the first event. How come? All of these so-called components present and complete, okay, you're able to add nine other components. And these are the components which I'm going to explain to you. But before that, people, can you please read it loud? Anti-aging, antioxidant, and cancer. First, this is pain. What is the function? Stimulates glutathione production in the body. And we all know that when you talk about glutathione, whitening, anti-aging, you will look better, people. And of course, it's a strong antioxidant. Guys, do we need glutathione, yes or no? Yes, yes people. What else? Quercetine. What is the function? Antioxidants. Anti-allergy. Okay? Anti-inflammatory. Good for your heart and anti-cancer. Third, guys, let's talk about the grape skin extract. Can you please read this one? Resveratrol. Okay, well, when you talk about resveratrol, anti-aging is number one. Okay, longevity is the function. And there's a French paradox saying people that even if their French are said to be found of eating meat products, still, they have a lower incidence of heart attack compared to the Americans. <coughs> Why? Because what they're fond of drinking what? Red wine. Which is said to be rich in what? Resveratrol. So people, prevents the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases like what again? Alzheimer's disease. Next people, green tea. Guys, I would like you to read it loud. Can you please say this one people? Epigario Catechin Gane. Can you please read it loud? Can you please read it loud? Epigario Catechin Gane Polyphenols. People, what is the main function? Great healing powers of green tea. Responsible for the great healing powers of green tea. Which are so-called EGCG. Okay? Now, people, what is the function of the green tea? Prevents type 2 diabetes, antioxidant, anti-aging, anti-cancer, and again, prevents this of what? Developing neurodegenerative diseases. So people, do we need this whole anti-aging components, yes or no? Yes. yes. What else do want? Coins and cuticles are the beginnings. What is the function then? It adjusts your cell. It can promote good flow of blood. It will try to boost your immune system. It can even oxygenize your tissues and again with an anti-aging components. Now, aside from those so-called five anti-aging components, we also have this. Guys, again, help me with this one. Can you please read it loud? Longevity polyphenols. We have the Japanese nutweed, the premium red wine extract, the grape seed extract, and the octane red wine powder. Guys, others are asking me, Doc, there's wine. The doc, there's alcohol? None. What we only derived from this so-called red wine extract was the resveratrol not the alcohol component. And remember people, we have this so-called halal rating that can prove the absence of alcohol in our product. With all of these people, do we have the best herbal product in town? Yes or no? Yes! yes. 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 The people, that's our product. The main reason why we've been number one for the past four years, the main reason why we're expanding globally, the main reason why we have more than 100 centers nationwide. And when you talk about global market people, these are the countries with branches of being global. What are these? Singapore, Taiwan, Korea, Hong Kong, Hawaii, Dubai. By the way, Mr. Miko Imson, part of the marketing team is right now in Dubai. Okay, and of course, aside from Dubai, Nigeria, Ghana, Africa, Kuwait. And the kind people, two weeks ago, in global, um, Brunei, okay, also open. <laughs> but guys, we have the best 
company here in the Philippines, as we know. Yes. Because we have the, the best product. But the question is though, you see Universe 7 meant for adults? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. You wanna visit that? We're talking about the kids. By the way, when you talk about adult age, for us doctors, it usually starts at the age of 12. Because the height of those kids are said to be what? Same as that of the adult. How about those less than 12 years old? But don't worry people, we have a good product for our kids, okay? And I would like to, but before we mention the, the word or the name of the product, this is what I would like to explain to you. Kids today stays up late at night, okay? If you will not ask them to sleep, they will not sleep with one, right? Same thing with, of course, you live for your own, okay? She will only sleep once I ask her to sleep beside me, right? They skip breakfast. They will try to make all of the possible excuses not to take the breakfast, okay? Hates fruits and vegetables, oh my god. Once they see fruits or vegetables, they will look like this. Okay? And loves, wow. If you will give them chocolates, junk foods, in just one sitting, pupos, right? Exposed to free radicals, silent smoking, so please don't smoke beside your kids by all means, guys. Okay? Pollution, radiation, TV, computers, cell phones, my golly wow. My daughter can, can down, uh, download games in the application, which I cannot do, okay? She's better than me when you, when you try to want, open the games, okay? And they can even play it for hours if you let, make them stop using the cell phone or the gadgets. So people, because of this, what will be the effect? Obesity. Okay? Stunted throat. Malnutrition. Again, I swear, 6 million malnourished Filipino children with lower intelligence, bad behavior, of course, very common for the kids, bullying. Now look at this. Let's talk about IQ and the help on and the, and the wealth of nations. Look at these guys. The average IQ of Filipinos is at the 86. How many bad dog? That's too much! 86! That's good! Compared to the world IQ guys, worldwide IQ, 100. Will that still be good metal? Okay? Why again? Because of these factors. Now guys, the average person in the world eats only an average of 1.8 fruits and vegetables per day. And again, if you're going to, to recall what you discussed earlier, how much should we eat every day? When you talk about fruits and vegetables? Aye. It's too far. People, look at this. It's all about the Food and Drug Administration of the Philippines. It recommends that children consume a minimum of what? Five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. And studies have shown that the best source of steel of vitamins and minerals will be the fruits and vegetables. Now, essential for what? Grow up. Great development. Strong immune system. So for you to become immune competent. Strong teeth and bones and of course good eyesight. Let's continue with this. There was a research done, Journal of School Health in the US, and it shows that fifth grade children with the highest intake of fruits and vegetables per day perform best on a so-called standardized test. So again, what are we trying to drive at here? That we should please convince our kids to eat enough fruits and vegetables per day. Now guys, this is the product. A very good product for the kids. People, can you please read it out? Key point for seven new priorities. Guys, have you tried the product, yes or no? Yes! What's the flavors, guys? Okay, again, orange, cherry, and grapes. New tragamis. Have you tried Kibigan? Uh, have you tried gummy bears before? Yes. Same thing here. Okay? I will assure you that once your kid tries this product, they will love the taste. And people, we doctor before we give vitamins. My wife has, uh, by the way, is a vegetarian. And every time she gives vitamins for the kids, for her clients, 
what we usually do is we are the ones who initially taste the vitamins. If by chance we know the taste of the vitamins, then we recommend it to our clients. Okay? Now people, it is good? Yes. But the thing here is, the question is not what are the components of this product? Okay guys, once I show you the numbers, can you please read those numbers now? Can you do that guys? Yes. yes. Let's start. What? How much? 40 right. vitamins, essential vitamins and minerals. Again, from A, B, C, D, E, K, B1 to B12, A to C, it's right there. Best second one, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So, what's the youngest possible age you can take the vitamins? What's the age people? Two years old. Once or twice a day. Two to eleven years old. Are we clear so far, people? Yes. Let's continue, guys. Let's go. Guys, can you please read it now? 26 fruits and vegetables. Again, people, if you're going to look at these fruits and vegetables, do we need them, yes or no? Yes. But if you're going to show this to your kids, especially broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower, do you think they will appreciate the vegetables as No. Especially if they're around three or four years old. If by chance you will show this to them, what will be the reaction? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the question is, do we need them? Yes or no? Yes. People don't know why, because all of them are now part of the product KD 24 7 of Bring No Fun. <laughs> And this is what's not needed. They're very good vitamins for the kids. And lucky for us, they're not present in their product. Especially, no allergens. Why? It only means one thing, that there will be no allergic reaction for our TV clients. What else? At the end of the day, you will ask me, oh, what are these all components present in their product? Can you please read this one? Pectin. A complex carbohydrate. Found where? Cell walls. When you talk about cell walls, Plants, cell membrane, animals. In the cell wall, or in between the cell wall, which means they will try to regulate the flow of water in between the cells and will try to make them rigid. The main reason why our product is said to be gummies is because of the sort of pectin. Okay? What else? Can you please read this one? Organic okay. tapioca is a sweetener people from tapioca starch. If you're going to analyze, though, no, what's, what's good with this product? Alternative sweetener to sucrose. When you talk about sucrose, it's the table sugar, the white table sugar, people. Now, the nutritional composition of organic tapioca syrup is similar to sucrose. But the advantage is, people, it may be slightly healthier option to white crystals. Why again? Because this one has lower calories. So if you fear is for your kids to become obese. Then don't worry people why, it has lower calories. And of course, lower carbohydrates. So, do we have a better vitamins for the kids in the breast of kids 24 7? Yes or no? Yes! yes. Uh, what? Cane juice. Evaporated cane juice. Again, a healthy alternative to refined sugar. Why? People, because it retains more of the nutrients found in sugar cane. Okay? Why again? Because it will only undergo okay, a certain type of processing that is not the same as that of refined sugar. Okay? Next, benefits. Again, for growth and thinking skills, vitamin B complex. Second, for stronger immunity, vitamin C as an antioxidant. Third and fourth, I still do believe that you must allow your kids to play every day. Yes or no? Yes. For them to enjoy life. But in order for them to do so, people, be sure that they have a strong bones and they should have extra energy. And for them to be able to absorb the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients people, you have to be sure that their digestive system is functioning well. The people with all of this, do we have a wonderful product in Kiddy 21st time? Yes or no? Yes! 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 Can you please read the product, guys? With how much vitamin nutrients? Let's try to recall the products in 10% of them. When we talk about C10% of the people, it contains how much vitamin nutrients? Which only means that our product C10% of them contains more 6,000 vitamin nutrients than that of complete. And the next question is though, is the product complete a good product? Yes! Remember, guys, six years ago, that was the one 
that was the product that made me become part of the global. But the second question is, though, do we need to explain everything again? Not anymore. Why? Because all of the products are complete, or all of the components are complete, are not part of our product? See the universal head. Next, another product that is also present in the universal head. What is the name? Restore the head. So, that one has the longevity formula? Yes. Okay? And people, I would like to remind you that, it, that, that when it was launched in the States, it was even promoted by Oprah Winfrey and Barbara Walters. Now, let's talk about the components of Restore Life. Question one, people. It's good if you would like to prevent heart diseases. Why? It can reduce inflammation. Second, prevents oxidation of MDL or the so called bad cares of cholesterol. That can decrease the incidence of heart attack. Next, cancer. Why? They will try to limit the spread of cancer cells. And they will trigger the process of cancer cells that causes what? Apoptosis. The one that I mentioned earlier. Okay? So even if you have cancer cells in your body, if you will take this product, then this cancer cells will probably die. What else? Alzheimer's disease, why again? Protects nerve cells from the damage. Not just of the brain, but also of the nerves. What else? Diabetes. This one, people. What I would like to mention is that we have two kinds of diabetes. Please repeat the words DM1 and DM2. Can you please say now? DM1 and DM2. When I talk about DM1, you have low levels of insulin or none at all. But when you talk about DM2, guys, it means you have enough levels of insulin, but there's a to be, and I would like you to repeat this one, insensitive insulin. Can you please say it now? Yes. Insensitive insulin. People, what will be the advantage if you will use your product Restore Life with Resveratrol? They will try to make your insulin sensitive again. And once they become sensitive people, they will try to get the glucose towards the cell and you convert this to become energy. They say they can help normalize your blood sugar. What else? Activates CERT1 genes. Can you please say it loud, guys? CERT1 genes. People, what do they do? They are said to be inside your nucleus. Once you activate the CERT1 genes, the function is to repair your damaged DNA. And once you repair damage the DNA people, according to studies, guys, you can also try to what, improve the function of the cell. And that can try to prolong human life by approximately 30 to 60 percent. People, I would just like to mention that the average age for Filipinos right now is said to be 67 years old. Okay? Average worldwide, 7 years old. If you would take the product, Plus 60%, it only means one thing. That sooner or later, we can be able to reach 100 years old. To just try to imagine, what if all of you are now 100 years old? And your speaker is still me. Can that be good, guys? It's going to be fun, so it's good. By the way, people, I forgot to mention that if you will take rest of life, it can also try to what? Stimulate the production of, I would like you to, to repeat these words, adiponectin hormone. Can you please say it out, guys? Adiponectin hormone. 